after our second quarterfinal game of the GNAC basketball championships here from St. Martin's in Lacey, Washington. It was Seattle Pacific University defeating Northwest Nazarene 71 to 60. Now with us is head coach Julie Halsey and senior guard Hannah Rodriguez. Congratulations, coach. Thank you very much. Opening thoughts about today's victory. Well, it's tournament time and we just want to survive in advance. And so obviously that's what we did and I'm super, super proud because our team had really high hopes going into the season and we started off, you know, 12-0 and 0, and um, we, even though we knew we'd lose some games in the GNAC, um, I really felt like we had a team that could compete in the regions and just with injuries, um, we haven't got that opportunity and we saw things slipping through our fingers and so I th I'm just proud of our kids, I'm proud of Hannah because it's hard when you get discouraged and you don't have all your pieces of the puzzle to fight with. But I think our kids have showed a lot of resilience and um, I'm just super proud that we have this win for them and that we can advance. Our seniors have been fantastic in their leadership and, and tonight was a total team effort. Coach, you know, your second half and then your defense, holding in the 29% shooting and fit, forcing 15 turnovers. How good about your guys' defense? Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that we were getting stops, but then they were getting yeah. offensive boards. But you know, I think we have one of the best defensive teams in, in the conference, and obviously early on we were one of the best defensive teams in the country. Um, I think NNU is one of the hardest teams to guard. They can score a lot of points, and you know, if you, that's one thing we've struggled with. And so I feel really good to know that we've held them to 60 points, especially knowing they have 18 offensive rebounds, and they had 17 points from the free throw line. But, um, you know, I think, man, our starting group, Stacy and Jordan and Hannah and Erica, um, Rachel, they did a really good job getting us started. And, you know, we had moments, like I said, we gave up offensive boards and that hurt us. But down the stretch, we did a super job again. And Hannah, talk about that down the stretch. You were playing with four fouls at that point. And you were just out there going for it. You were a part of that. Just talk about that last four and a half minutes when you guys went on a 13-0 run. Yeah, it was really intense and the energy was really high. And it was also just really fun. Like Coach said, it's tournament time and it's just – a different feeling and um, we have a lot of respect for NNU. We've won and lost to them so we knew that they weren't going to let down so we just had to be really focused and just be all in at that point. But I'm going to just comment because Hannah came in and she got a steal and she got big rebounds and sometimes that's hard when you've sat so much because she just went in and got that fourth foul mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I applaud Hannah for just being mentally in the game and being aggressive because it's hard sometimes. You talked, Julie, about too, uh, not having all the pieces of the puzzle. Today you were missing pieces of people going out with foul trouble earlier. Yeah. You had other kids step up and, and fill in. Talk about that well, a little bit. Well, I guess two things. It was a beautiful thing this week because I really didn't know coming in. I had no idea, even on Tuesday, that Julia or Courtney would play at all. And so it was great that they got to play. Carly came in and did a good job. But, you know, with the foul trouble we had, had we not had um, Courtney and uh, Julia, we couldn't have stayed in the game. And so I'm really thankful that they came back. And um, yeah, you know, just different people stepping up. I mean, Jay Lee came off the bench. Bree did a good job coming off the bench, even though she didn't play tons of minutes. She gave us a spark. Lindsay maybe didn't get shots, which I wish we could have got her more shots, but Lindsay still is very solid defensively. And um, yeah, I just, uh, people did what we had to do. I mean, at different times. And I was just proud. I mean, we were able to run on them. Rachel attacked the basket a lot. We were able to find Carly in transition. I mean, it was just different things at different times. It was a team effort. And that 13-0 run, that's probably one of your longest runs of the season. It couldn't come at a better time. Just talk about that a little bit, right when you needed it, too. You know, I can't remember what started it. I know Jay Lee, I can't remember what the quarter. Jay Lee hit a three, and then she made free throws. Was that in the third mm -hmm. quarter? Um, yeah, but this was in the fourth, this quarter, the fourth four, quarter. Four and a half to go and then, down 60-58 at that point. Okay. It started with free throws again, didn't mm -hmm. it, I think? And um, I don't... You know, I don't know. Actually, so many things happened, but I just know people made plays. Hannah got a steal. We got to the line. Um, we got extra rebounds, and I don't know. It, it was just crunch time. I mean, I felt the tension that every – it wasn't – there wasn't flow. It was like, okay, are we going to get a stop or a score? And, you know, we had two nice back-to-back post-ups, and we didn't score off them, and you're like, oh, shoot, you know, because everything was so crucial. So, honestly, I'm just thankful because I can't really remember what happened. <laughs> Uh, Hannah, get another shot at Alaska Anchorage tomorrow. Let's talk about getting, a, getting to play them one more time. I am really excited to play them again, um, especially after last time losing at their place. I'm just 
I'm ready to get them again at a neutral yeah. location, and I think we could beat them, and I'm just really excited for it. I'm, yeah, I think we're ready. And Julie, your thoughts on this two games down in Seattle? Played them real tough. Up there, it didn't go so well. What did, what did you take from those two games and take into this one tomorrow? Well, really, they're not comparable in some ways because the first time we played Anchorage on a Thursday, and I think we had more time to prepare. And then the second time, you know, we played without Rachel, without mm -hmm. Juliet, and without Courtney. And, um, and we just lost, I think, a devastating loss to Fairbanks because we knew with that loss we probably weren't going to get in the region tournament. So I think there was a lot of emotion in that game where you, know, you just get drained. It's not just the physical stuff. So you know, I think right now, you know, like Hannah said, it's tournament time. And right now i got to wrap my head around what's next. But I mean, I think always when you play Anchorage, I mean, they're a very good team. And the pressure's going to be on for 40 minutes. And we know rebounding is huge. And we know um, we got to be able to take care of the ball. And I think you know the two times previous last year at our place, and then our and then in December at our place, we only had 18 turnovers, which is very good against them. And at our you know at their place, we struggled with turnovers, and all of a sudden there'd just be huge runs. And so you know we got to do a better job tomorrow to take care of the ball and not letting them have that those runs. Yeah. Hi, Julie. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the poise that your team displayed coming down the stretch. Well, I think you can show, like I said, we had some kids that I think just have a lot of toughness and resilience. I think the seniors on the floor, I thought Jay Lee came off the bench and Jay Lee, I mean, Stacy said in the locker room that, you know, she kind of grew up in this game, but she did. She did a good job managing the clock. She did, you know, she just was solid defense on um, Logan, but I think our kids, you know, we all want to grow up fast, and we can go through our season and look at times where we gave up games because of lack of ways. And so hopefully at some point those lessons kicked in. And I think, you know, it, it did tonight. I think, you know, Hannah said coming out of <laughs> the timeout, patience, patience. And I think just knowing as a team we got to communicate and remind each other what's important because adrenaline's going. But thank you for that compliment. Congratulations, Coach, and good luck to you guys tomorrow. Okay, thanks very much. Way to go, Hannah. Oh, thanks, Coach. <laughs>